an experienced photographer was driving in a remote area near Nashville, Tennessee on the night of the 14th of July, 1989. He saw a light behind the trees on top of a mountain several miles away at about 9 p.m. He stopped his car, opened the trunk, picked up two cameras, a Canon A1 and a Canon T90, that had previously been loaded with film. He started walking toward the bright light. The light came over the mountain several miles away and he started taking pictures with the cameras. He noticed a coronal discharge from around the perimeter of the object. It appeared to be materializing and coming into his vision. The bright light continued moving toward him. He aimed the camera at the light and started taking photos. His first photo was taken about 30 degrees above the horizon. When the object stopped he was shooting at about 50 degree up with the object still about 4 to 6 miles away. The photographer states, I had a feeling that the craft was behind the mountain waiting for me and when it appeared it felt like I was in another world, the sounds were far, far away. He looked at the object but could not see any definition, the light was far too bright and too far away. When he looked through the lens the craft was sharp and vivid. The craft was visible for more than five minutes but less than 10. It seemed like forever. He changed the lens package from the T90 to the A1 camera and continued shooting using all his film. He felt he was not in control of what was happening. He remembers constantly pushing the buttons on the back of the T90, each time he made a change it sharpened the image. The T90 Canon with his lens package cost $3,400. It has four computer chips and at the time was one of the most professional cameras you could buy when purchased in 1985. There were other witnesses but they have been reluctant to come forward. They also were taking pictures, but the field around the craft interfered with the film as the craft moved away. They did not have high magnification lens so there was not enough definition to make the craft identifiable. The photographer has had a recent heart attack and an auto accident and does not want his name revealed. The Canon T9 was set up with a spacer, two 2 to 2x multipliers and 500mm mirror lens with 5 filters. The lens package was 2000mm plus. The speed of the film using the film push process is close to 3000. The camera was set up to take scenery at a distance. The computerized camera with computer chips was set to open the aperture as wide as possible. Commander Graham Bethune was told by Bill Sherwood of Kodak that the object photographed with this package used on the camera was about 5 miles distant and would be 100 feet in diameter. Acer Kodak 400 or above film was used. Push processing was ordered when developing the film. Analysis of the film shows unusual colors not normally seen in any lighted object. The colors indicate a coronal discharge similar to the Aurora Borealis, Northern Lights. The photographs show a craft with approximately 32 red, white and blue perimeter lights. These lights are not used in normal aircraft configuration.
at times they appear all red. At other times they are all white. Sometimes outer perimeter lights appear mixed in color indicating they may have the ability to change color. Inside the outer perimeter lights are panels of lights. These also appear to have the ability to change color. Although they are predominantly white they are sometimes seen as partially red or black. Assuming the craft is 100 feet in diameter these outer panels take up about 40 feet or 20 feet on each side. Below the center of craft there appears to be a crystal or lights with crystal-like appearance. Generally these lights appear blue. Craft appears to rotate in the photos. Graham gave me his word that these were authentic photographs of an actual flying craft to the best knowledge. He has known the photographer for 24 years and the man worked for him for 10 years. He has always been known to tell the truth and was of high character. National UFO Center Note I have observed a UFO at close distance. The colors of the smoke probably a coronal discharge were similar to what I saw. The lights themselves have an unusual depth of color. When you look at a colored light it is normally a white light covered by a lens of red, yellow, green, blue etc. The lights on the craft appear as if the light contain the actual color. There is a vividness of color that is difficult to describe that appears to be in these photos. The fog or plasma is penetrated by the powerful lights shining downward. The lights extend down for an estimated 7 to 5 feet to 100 plus feet and seem to stop abruptly. Duplication of this capability is exceptionally difficult to accomplish with any normal lights. I have never seen lights that have these properties except on a UFO, nor have I seen comparable photography. I have over 5,000 hours flying time and taken thousands of photographs. I would be very interested in any similar photographs or videos of a comparable craft.